guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this video, we're going to talk about the brand new, the just released, the Street Fighter collection from Shout Factory. These three movies, The Street Fighter, The Return of the Street Fighter, and The Street Fighter's Last Revenge, uh, I think were the movies that introduced so many of us to the awesomeness of Sonny Chiba. Sonny Chiba often compared as like the Japanese Bruce Lee, but that's such a that does a disservice to Sonny Chiba because he was his own brand. He was a star. He's still a star. Sonny Chiba is still with us as I make this video, and uh, he's still such a cool guy. Uh, these movies were so influential in their day, still influential now. Obviously, the influence on someone like a Quentin Tarantino uh, cannot be overstated, but. They are like the Bible to a certain kind of film fan. Uh, they sit at the crossroads of uh, drive-in movies, exploitation cinema, the mo some of the most common, most, most popular uh, martial arts movies in the history of the genre. Uh, Sonny Chiba's The Street Fighter Trilogy is like the top of Mount Everest for this kind of movie. Now I go back a ways with these. I just wanted to show you guys this really quick. This is my old Sonny Chiba set. There's 10 movies on here. This is from Brentwood, uh, who... I believe we're affiliated with the whole BCI Eclipse scene in the early 2000s. Uh, the thing about these is all of the presentations for these movies are uh, video, like videotape transfers, VHS transfers, dubbed. So I think this set, now I'm not, don't quote me because I'm just, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that this set is the first time that these movies have been remastered for HD and presented with their original Japanese audio. Uh, that was the the biggest appeal for me is being able to see these in Japanese as they were as they were filmed, um, but the pre the package itself there's three discs each movie gets its own disc, uh, each movie is newly scanned from the, the it's two K scans of the original film elements. There's a disclaimer at the beginning of each one that they kind of had to do some mixing and matching from sources. Um, the third movie, uh, the last the Street Fighter's Last Revenge. Uh, has uh, an extended option. You can watch the extended, the original Japanese cut, which is about four minutes longer than the the American, the New Line Cinema cut of the film, and it features uh, standard definition inserts, which actually don't look that bad. It's, it doesn't take you out of it too much. Uh, but obviously, for these, I chose to watch the original uh, Japanese audio with English subtitles. It does not default to that. It defaults. Each movie defaults to the English dub. I should also mention that the first movie gives you a choice of three language options. You can choose the original uh, New Line Cinema English dub. You can choose the original Japanese mono, or you can choose the 90s re-release English dub. Uh, but again, I chose Japanese, the original Japanese. So what about the movies themselves? Were they so uh, influential, so crazy? I think two of the three... Uh, were X-rated upon their release, not because they were, you know, adult films or anything like that, but just because they are so crazy violent. And it almost seems tame now in a world of Game of Thrones and the horror, you know, the horror shows that we have now, uh, the horror movies of today. But this was a movie where like body parts are being pulled off, uh, people are being punched so hard that their insides get vomited up. I mean, it's crazy, crazy exploitation, exploitative. Uh, it's exploitation, but it's incredible. Uh, so let's just talk about the first one. I, I'll go through them really quick. I don't have a ton to say because I really think you should watch these. And besides, it's mostly style over substance. But obviously, the first movie is the best movie. Uh, the original, The Street Fighter, is the movie that introduced all of this. Uh, Sonny Chiba is Terry Tsurugi, who is... Uh, he's basically a mercenary, kind of a gun for hire. But he, he hey, his weapon, his, his guns are his hands. Uh, and this is a, a style of karate where he can penetrate your body with his hands. So stick his hands in your head or in your stomach or something like that. Uh, crazy stuff, man. But uh, he's not a great guy. He's not a nice guy. This is not like your traditional anti-hero where you're kind of rooting for him. I mean, we are rooting for him. But uh, he's the first movie doesn't really make a lot of bones about it. He's basically out for himself. He wants to get rich. He wants to uh, survive as well. But uh, he's in with the mafia. He's taking money from this group, and he's killing people from this group. Um, and uh, the 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 thing that the movie does so well is it presents these incredible action scenes. Listen, Sonny Chiba was uh, in his day 
an incredible martial artist. The stunt work, he's doing flips, he's doing all these crazy things. And he was really doing these things. Um, and he had spent years, he was an Olympic, uh, an Olympic comp- uh, competitor if in, in martial arts. And so he had a lot of, like he, he was built, he was jacked for, for his time, for his era of cinema, Sonny Chiba was jacked, man. Um, but the movie, The Street Fighter especially, is so it's shot so well. It's got a cool plot, this kind of mafia, kind of a, you know, this Yakuza kind of a thing. But it's shot so well. There's fights in the rain. They take, you know, it's kind of that spaghetti western thing where they'll zoom in on the facial expressions. And these during these fights, they set them up. Lots of circling. Lots of like, you know, like take 20 seconds to just gather your chi. Kind of Dragon Ball Z, if you know what I'm talking about. Like they'll set a fight up for a while. Uh, the camera loves it. The Return of the Street Fighter is uh, still a really good movie, but it's a it's almost a direct rehash of the first movie. They even use, in fact, both of the second films, so The Return of the Street Fighter and The Street Fighter's Last Revenge, use they reuse footage from the first movie. Uh, but it, it kind of works. They do it in black and white. It's got that whole like it it feels cool. It feels like a drive-in movie. Like oh yeah, we're getting to see this again. Um, but uh, the return of the Street Fighter again, kind of almost not a remake, but it rehashes. It's the same structure, same beats, like uh, same. You know, well, I won't spoil anything, but they they go through the same motions, slightly different plot, some different characters. But it will also say that a lot of the same characters. Um, uh, uh, these three movies feature a lot of the same cast, and the actress that would go on to be Sister Street Fighter in her own franchise is in two of these three movies. So, uh, and, and the, there's a, an actor who plays a character called Chicken Baru, and he would end up in Sister Street Fighter. So, all these Toei movies, these movies were made for Toei. Uh, very small cast, like a small repertory cast of these uh, martial artists, these karate experts who would just be in movie after movie after movie. Sometimes same characters, sometimes different characters. Uh, so, Return of the Street Fighter, still cool, still, the, he's, he's maybe a little bit less vicious and maybe a little bit more likable in the return of the street fighter but by the time of the third movie the street fighter's last revenge uh boy this thing is crazy the 70s have completely set in he's far less um threatening and he's more again heroic is probably not the word he's more um almost kind of a James Bond character. Even the, the there's like doors that slide up instead of just walking through a door. Now you have these metal doors that just lift like in a James Bond movie. There's a, a guy, there's like a mariachi guy. He's a villain who dresses like a mariachi and he shoots lasers out of his hands. We're clearly in a different, like after two movies, they're like, let's just take this thing to the moon, man. That would have been cool. Street Fighter on the moon. Maybe maybe that could have been done. Uh, we were headed <laughs> We were headed in that path. Uh, but this, the third movie is just crazy. And so it's appealing on a different level. By the, it, it feels very removed from the original The Street Fighter, even though it only been like, what, a year or two since they had made them. Uh, but uh, it, it's crazy. It's, it's campy. Crazy violence as well. There's still a lot of the violence and stuff. Uh, and I, like in the, I watched the Japanese cut, like I said, and there's a lot of... Most of what got cut... Uh, for the new line version, uh, in case you're wondering what the difference between the two versions is, it seems to have been mostly some dialogue and some of the over-the-top violence that apparently was just too was just too much for uh, for the new line uh, censors or, or for whatever they were trying to go for. So that's the movies themselves. If you haven't seen them, you guys you gotta check it out. Uh, these are classics. These are absolutely, like I said, these sit at the top of uh, of a certain kind of movie. But uh, let's talk about the presentations themselves. We talked about the audio options, the different cuts. Um, three movies, three discs. Uh, there's no, there's really not a lot of special features to, to, to consider. And that's kind of a bummer for me. Now, this comes from Shout Select's line. I, I gather Shout Select is kind of the, uh, they're not collector's editions or anything like that. They're kind of bare bones. And I think that's really a shame because I, I kind of, I gather everyone underestimated the popularity of these movies as i'm recording this video this is just it just came out this week this is this release has been available for just like two days as i record this uh and already shout factory's website has this as sold out amazon unavailable um all these retailers that were supposed to have this or did have this they're gone and i'm like did you guys not think that sunny chiba's street fighter trilogy was not going to be like one of your biggest sellers because everybody loves these movies and the people that don't 
are future fans. Like the people who haven't seen these movies are just fans waiting to be born because these movies are incredible. Um, and I feel, I don't want to say that these are a lost opportunity, but I think that these movies could have been given better treatment. These could have been given the collector's edition treatment from Shout Factory. There's no commentaries. There's no making of documentaries. There's no retrospectives. There's no booklet in here. There's nothing to tell me more about these movies. Now there is about a 20, a little bit over 20 minute interview with Sonny Chiba. I'm going to be honest with you. He didn't have a lot to say. Um, he talks a little bit about his background, how he got into movies, what he enjoyed about the movies. But if you typed up the transcript of what he said in that, it's like a page. He doesn't have a lot to say. Um, and there is also a new interview with uh, uh, the fil filmmaker Jack Shoulder, who would cut trailers. He's a director, but he cut trailers in the 70s. And I believe he cut these trailers. Uh, for New Line back in the day. And he is interesting uh, as well. But again, no one's telling us about the making of these movies, their place in martial arts cinema. Uh, it really seems kind of like a missed opportunity. And you know, this is retailing for $45. It's three movies for $45. Um, I don't know. It would have been nice if they had thrown just a little bit of something else extra in there, even a booklet, even just a booklet with some facts, maybe an essay. There's a lot to say about these movies. Um, there's a lot of fans of these movies. So, um, you know, maybe I will say that it's a missed opportunity. And I'm going to tell you guys something else, too. So I have a, a dubious history with Shout Factory and, and Scream Factory. Sometimes you guys will be like, why don't you talk more about Shout Factory? Um, I feel like the quality control is often not up to the level that it needs to be. And I feel like sometimes the retail prices are a little high for the product. And this is a great example of that because these are basically three bare bones movies. Though they look great, they look better than they ever have before. Though we finally have them in their original Japanese uh, you guys, one of these discs came scratched. Uh, so that, again, bothers me. And this is certainly not the first time I've got a brand new Blu-ray set with a uh, scratched disc. Now, it did not affect playback. So thankfully, there's no reason to seek a replacement for this. And it doesn't look like there are replacements to be had right now because this is sold out everywhere, including with Shell Factory. But why does a brand new Blu-ray set have a scratched disc right out of the package? Um... It's, uh, it's upsetting. It's a little frustrating. I just wish quality control was a little bit tighter on some of these. And uh, I'm going to be doing a review. Uh, I don't know if it'll be my immediate next review, but very soon, within the next week, uh, I will be doing a review of the Sister Street Fighter Collection from Arrow Video. Um, and it's kind of a 180 from what we're talking about here. Booklet, it's jacked. There's a lot of cool stuff in that. So... Um, this is a, I, listen, I highly recommend it. You got to get these movies. If you can get your hands on them, if you can find someone that has this in stock, hopefully within the coming days and, and months, days, weeks, months, this will be uh, put back. They, they'll, they need to print a bunch more of these and get these out there because this is a, this is a great set. Uh, again, these are uh, some of the best examples of martial arts cinema, some of the most popular. Uh, I don't know anybody who has seen these that doesn't think that these are just the best. These are so cool. Um, so hopefully you'll get a chance to buy this. Hopefully you did get a chance to buy this. But this is my review of uh, Shout Factory's uh, The Street Fighter Collection. So guys, good luck. Track it down if you can. I appreciate you hanging out. And, and check back soon because we're going to talk about Sister Street Fighter. Uh, more Sunny Chiba. More 70s Toei martial arts action. Uh, so stay tuned. Guys, thank you very much. I appreciate you. And until next time, I will catch you later. Later.